It's Jeff Greenberg with another great tip coming at you. And this one's all about screenshots on Mac OS X. Now, the Mac allows you to do things like Command Shift 3 and Command Shift 4 to take a screenshot. And I've hit Command Shift 3, and it's going to bring up a little icon in the corner. And you can click on this if you wanted. And I'll bring this open, and you can make adjustments. You could comment on it and save this. And that's really cool. Don't get me wrong. In digging in the Mac OS, I found that there was this help screen, but there's that Shift Command 3 and 4, and these, of course, are customizable. But at Shift Command 5, it's my favorite, and I want to show you why. When I hit a Shift Command 5, I get all the options from the direct keyboard choices. I can say the entire screen. I can say just where my mouse is that window. I can say a selected portion. I can also do a screen recording and notice the button down here in this overlay becomes record or a portion of the screen. All those things are really cool. By the way, the enter key, the return key will actually do the screenshot. When I make a screenshot, I have the ability from this pop up called options to do a, three different things that I think are very useful. One, I could have it not show that floating thumbnail. I happen to love it. I could have it let me choose each time what I want. Probably my next screenshots like this screenshot. I could have it show or hide my mouse pointer. Now, often I'm doing a screenshot to show somebody something, so I like all those on. I can go to the timer here, and I could choose a delay before it takes a screenshot, and sometimes that's great because I'll often find myself doing something that an overlay is going to show up or disappear. But it's this top section that's my favorite. Now, the default is, I believe, it saves to the desktop or documents. And I hate that because it ends up with clutter. I chose another location, and I called it underscore screenshots. When I take a screenshot, it appears here in this dedicated directory. And the be best part is because I sort it by date modified, I have them going back forever and forever. Let's see how far back it goes. Yeah, it goes back to like October of 2020. It provides a quick and easy library of just my screenshots for me. And it was in creating this tip that I discovered a couple magic items. I could have it go directly to the clipboard. Instead of me opening it in Command -C, C, Copy, Command V, Paste, or grabbing the file and dragging it somewhere, I could have it just skip creating a file and just put it directly on the clipboard. Perfect for me to hit paste into something like PowerPoint or Keynote. I could have it go directly into mail or directly into messages, which are both phenomenal ways to get your screenshots to people. I could even set it to preview and it would automatically behave as if I've clicked in that bottom corner and open up preview for me. I'm going to do that right now. So I'll say capture. It takes that section, it launches preview automatically and gives me preview up and running, ready for me to make whatever tweaks or maybe export it into a different format. And that's a couple tips about how to tweak OS 10 screenshots. Again, it's Jeff Greenberg, Phone Geek on all your favorite social networks. Hope you found this tip useful. Let me know if you have any questions whatsoever. Thanks again for watching.